my shadow fanning. It's so hot. Oh my god. Hey guys, today I have a Mac haul to share with you. I uh, recently went on a bit of a Mac shopping spree, if you will, and I just wanted to sit down and share with you guys what I purchased. I'm kind of in a big lip mood right now, like I want some new lip stuff for fall, and surprisingly I am really bored with the same three lip liners that I use over and over and over and over and over. I didn't go too nuts, but enough nuts to like do a haul. So let me start by saying I don't have a ton of products from MAC. It hasn't always been my number one brand to go to, even though I've always had a fondness for MAC. Like I know it's a good brand, but I've never been like one of those girls that was just like MAC everything, you know, like I go through my collection and I don't have that much MAC stuff. But what did happen was over the holidays, I picked up this guy right here. This is a Nordstrom exclusive palette and I started using it all the time. I've put this one in a favorites before. So you just look at this and you're like, I wanna do my makeup. Like I want to paint. I want to create something beautiful. When I look at this, I get inspired. I love it. I reach for this. I use at least one shade every single day. I kid you not, I love this palette. This is like a gateway drug. If you do not wanna get hooked on MAC, don't buy this one. Just don't stick with whatever else you have. Don't do it. Um, because this just kind of started the whole thing and now I'm on this like crazy Mac thing. I don't know what's happening, but it's happening. I was in Seattle. I was shopping with my BFF and we were at the Bellevue Square uh, Nordstrom and at the Mac counter they showed me this palette and this is another Nordstrom exclusive and I was like, I have to have this in my life. Immediately I started using this one on that trip and fell in love. So now I have these two palettes and then last night I just I don't know. I was supposed to be going grocery shopping. I went to Whole Foods and right next door is a Mac shop, which I really feel bad for the girls that were helping me out in that shop because I literally looked like a drowned rat. Um, it was so not a glamorous day to be shopping. Shy. No big deal. I only have white carpets in my beauty room because that made a lot of sense. So I went and I picked up some lipsticks and now that I'm holding them in my hand, I feel like that crazy girl that bought like three of the same lipsticks, but no, they are very different and unique, at least to my eye. Um, I picked up the shade Whirl, which everybody has seen this shade and they love it. I was like, you know what? Fall is around the corner. Let's do this. And also another thing that I am going to try and do is a MAC dupes video. I want to do a dedicated MAC dupes and give you guys some drugstore options. Um, so that was my justification in buying some of this stuff. I got Shy Girl. Oh, the smell of MAC lipsticks. It's intoxicating. And then I got a matte velvet teddy, which is what I'm wearing right now, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's just so wearable, so creamy. Um, I'm all of a sudden like really, like I said, really into MAC. I also picked up an item that I had loved in high school. So this was one of the few items that I was really, really into. I think I was like very obsessed with Studio Fix, one of the concealers, and then this. This is the original lip gloss, and this turns anything into like high shine, super shine straight away. I will show you. Just like that easy. It's just a super reflective, sticky gloss. If you don't like sticky, I don't think you'll like this. But I remember just using this with different pigments. I would even take eyeshadows and turn them into lip glosses with this guy right here. And it's like a never ending tube. I mean, you need the tiniest amount and it just shines up the lips beautifully. So I wanted to grab that. I was already using this this morning and it kind of became family with the rest of my makeup already. This is the shade Soar. I'm really feeling this kind of a matte brown kind of a thing or high shine gloss nude. That's kind of what I'm going for right now. And these liners are just absolutely creamy. And I, for the longest time, have only done very neutral liners. I never buy any dark liners like this, but you know, now is the time because I just had a good old makeup craving. This lip pencil is called In Sync or In Cinch, In Sync. This liner right here is like the polar opposite, but I wanted to get some type of a brighter pinky peachy nude, um, not just like a skin tone fleshy nude, but something that had an actual pink tone to it. 
and this one was just really beautiful so grab that and then the last liner that I grabbed of course is Whirl. I have not tried this one out yet but I have high hopes and again I am going to be trying to find dupes for you guys. Look how gorgeous that is. It just screams fall to me and I am already very excited for the cool down. Even here in California I'm just like oh my gosh I'm over it. I am over sticking to the seat of my car. I am over sweating. I am over my makeup melting off my face. I'm just, I'm really having an issue with the heat right now. It makes filming so awful too because I sit in front of all of these lights so that hopefully you guys can see me and you can see like the swatches and everything but oh my gosh. This is Teddy. Remember how I told you guys I'm just on the hunt for like the perfect brown? A few of you guys recommended this one to me and let's just try it right now. Together. That's actually really pretty. All right let's even things out. I remember in the past MAC liners kind of smudging on me and moving around so I've always been kind of hesitant to really buy them and whatnot so as you can see I only purchased one because I do want to see how this wears in the waterline and if it smudges and smears everywhere but that is a really pretty bronzy brown. I also picked up a single pan which is only ten dollars and I think that's a pretty reasonable price for the amount of pigment, intensity, whatnot. If you can build your own palettes you know go get a Z palette and just buy the individuals you will save money. This is nylon and it is legitimately the most most intense inner corner highlight that you will ever use in your life. It is just like ba-bam. This was actually one of the shadows that I didn't have growing up but my older sister did. Like I remember back in the day this was like her favorite thing and I obsessed over it. I would like sneak a little swipe and be like ooh shimmery you know and of course I'd put it all over my lid everywhere and that probably did not look so great on little, you know, 14 year old me. But um, yeah, it's a really, really intense highlight color. Great under the brow bone if you use just a tiny bit. Great on the inner corner. I also got two cream sheen glosses because when I was in Seattle, my older sister Larissa, who I feel like she's been more of a MAC fan than I have, um, she had this gloss called Delight. And sometimes she's like, oh, I'm not using that. Can I take it? You know, and we'll like trade makeup. It's a weird thing that we do. And this one, she was like, no, I love that. And I put it on and literally took a picture of the box because I was like, I need that color. It is beautiful. It is one of those really interesting, just gorgeous, kind of cool toned magical shades. I just really, really love this. And I actually love the cream sheen formula. I also got the shade Boy Bait, which is a really popular one. I feel like I always hear people saying that they're wearing Boy Bait and I just never tried it. I've actually never even tried this on. It's much more see-through um, and more of like a nudie peach. Okay, I have one more item to show you and it's actually something that I didn't purchase last night. It's something I purchased way long ago and I believe I've complained about it already on my channel, but while I was like kind of pulling out all of my MAC stuff, I wanted to share with you that these little teeny tiny guys, like the travel size, makeup, whatever you want to call these, you get nine shades in here and they have like a warm one, they have cool tone ones, they have different sets. And it seems like a very affordable option to go with, but I have to tell you the quality in these is not the same. The pigment is literally, like, it is so hard to pick up anything. Um, swatched, like, you can't even, I can't even swatch that. It's the weirdest thing ever. And when I was at a matte counter, I was like, be real with me. Tell me, is this the same quality as what you would get in an individual pan? And they're like, no, a lot of people are complaining about that. So I just wanted to give you a heads up that I feel like the quality in these is a lot different. Um, some of them are good, some of them are all right, but not every shade in here is going to be identical to what the larger pans offer. So I kind of feel like I wish I had not purchased this and I never reach for it actually. I always reach for this guy right here and I travel with it. So yeah.
So those are all of my brand new matte goodies. I am gonna try and find dupes for everything that I shared with you. Eventually, I'm gonna get that done. It's like my mission right now is to bring you guys, you know, the more luxury options, but also give you some really great affordable ones as well. And I already have another dupes video like set up, ready to go, ready to come your way very, very soon. But a MAC one will be on its way. If you have any dupes that you know of that would match up for any of the items that I shared with you today, leave that in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed kind of digging through all of the things that caught my eye at Mac and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for hanging out. Mwah.